so let's have a look at O'Connell 2021 exam paper for ratios and calculate the first ratio, which is the figure for purchases. So we know this information is going to come from the profit and loss account. So we see that our purchase figure is outstanding here. So the figures that we need to calculate is we're going to need our cost of sales figure. So our cost of sales figure from the question is 433000 to that, we're going to add on our closing stock figure of 80,000 and then we're going to take away our open stock of 128,000. So the figures that we need for this are, so we're going to need the cost of sales figure of 433,000. We're going to need our closing stock figure then of 80,000. And then we're going to need our open stock figure then of 128,000. So the form that we need is our cost of sales. We're going to add on our closing stock and take away our open stock. So remember to help you with this, you kind of visualize what it is going down. So you're going to have your open stock of 128,000. You'd usually add on your purchases. That's the figure you need to calculate. And then you take away your closing stock. So because we're working backwards, we're changing these around. So instead of add, instead of taking away for closing stock, we're going to add it on. And instead of adding for our credit purchases, we're going to take it away. So our cost of sales, 430, we're going to add on our closing stock and then we're going to take away our open stock. So our closing stock figure for this question is going to be 433,000. Then we're going to add on our closing stock, which is 80,000. Remember, we're going to put these in brackets because you always do your adding first. And then we're going to take away our open stock of 128,000. So it's going to be 513,000 take away 128,000 and that's going to give you a purchase figure of 385,000. And remember you're going to use the units of euros for this. So remember your purchase figure is your cost of sales plus your closing stock take away your open stock. Remember, we were adding on our costs, our closing stock to our cost of sales. We're going to put them inside brackets and then we're going to take away our open stock. And then we've identified the three figures that we need. So now we're just going to substitute these figures into the formula that we have up here. I do it step by step. You can do it all at once. Just remember that you have to add first to remove the brackets and then you take away. And that's the first adjustment for O'Connell for 2021.